Hey, hey, this is Frank of Ocho Verde Wildlife. We're back down here in southern Costa Rica, and we won't be flipping tin for snakes in this episode, but what we will be doing is walking these jungle trails day and night to see if we can find some snakes and some cool herps as well. Anyway, let's get started. I don't know if you can see it up there on that tree, but there is a snake up there. That is eye shine. So let's go see. Looks like it's a, one of the boas. Look at that, it is a boa. This is the black-tailed boa. Look at that, in the genus Corallus. This is the Corallus Russian bergii. And I left my hook down below. I saw the eye shine on this tree. This is the first one I found in like four or five years. But we'll just look at it for a little bit. Sorry, the video is not a little bit better, but look at that pattern. And you can see the black tail coming up. And there it is. Pacific tree boa or garden boa. Anyway, very cool snake to find on the first night back in Costa Rica. There it is, way up in that tree now. It's like 25 feet up. I got my hands on it for a second, but... Well, I'm pretty far away, but you can see that that is a Fertilance, a Terciophalo, both drops of Asper, right there on the side of this log. You can see that white or yellow cheek, and sometimes they're called yellow chin or barber amarillo or yellow, yellow chin, I believe is actually what the translation is. Anyway, we'll get a little closer and see how this goes. All right, it's a fairly large snake. Maybe four feet long. You can see that spear point head, which gives it the name for the lance. The, the lance head viper is really how it's translated. But we can creep right by this guy, I believe. These terciopelos can be a little bit nervous, and I saw this one jump a couple of times, so we'll just leave it be. Well, finally a day snake. Look at this beauty. This is a barred forest racer. It's a young one, a juvenile. It's just now losing its pattern. Of course, these guys will get uh, uh, at least a meter long, maybe a little bit longer. Handsome little snakes. This was in the leaf litter and it took off and I just had to catch it. I couldn't uh, show it in situ because it was pretty much impossible to do so. However, <laughs> as little as this snake is, it still made me bleed. Little bastard. Anyway, we're gonna let it go now. Try to get the release here. Generally, they calm down. Of course, not this time, of course. Back up that way. Awesome. 15 minutes after the snake bite from the little barred forest racer, no ill effects, despite my hand turning blue. <laughs> well, I just wanted to give you a 24 hour update on the racer snake bite. Anyway, as you can see, it's pretty much gone. There's a little bit of a mark. You can see it kind of on the back side of the, that finger right there in the center. It kind of looks like a horseshoe. That would be the upper jaw, I believe. Anyway, no antibiotics, no pain, no swelling. All good. Well, it looks like we're gonna be blessed with a blunthead tree snake. The rain is coming, so we're not gonna to have to spend um, a lot of time out here with it. But I will show you from above. We have been waiting for a cat-eyed snake. And there it is. Look how fat it looks right there. It's either full of eggs. Or it's had a meal. But it looks kind of lumpy, like it's probably full of eggs.
Very cool. Well, I always hate to see a snake skeleton. Um, it's in pretty good shape though, the vertebrae are intact. I don't know, I may try to keep one and see if somebody somewhere can identify it. It obviously died in a coil right here. It's an ebony keel back in my house. I think it was one of the last couple of Costa Rica videos I found a red-eyed tree snake, which was the smallest one I ever found. Well, I've topped that tonight. Look at this guy. It's just a little noodle for sure. Beautiful yellowish head, black neck. It's got to be a hatchling. It's got to be very fresh. Uh, I couldn't show the capture because it was going into a hollow piece of wood. And that's where I'm gonna put it back because it probably needs to be up off the ground a little bit. Anyway, look at this. This is Syphilopus compressus. Look at that guy. I'm gonna get a couple of pictures and then I'll release it. All right. Here we go. Look, look right there, buddy, there's your hole. Awesome, awesome. Syphilopus compressus, the smallest one I've ever found. Oh, a full moon. Somebody said this was called the viper moon. I don't know about that. If it is, let's go find some vipers. Finally, another Terciopelo fertilance. Just a young one, probably a male. Really no reason to disturb it. Notice the A pattern right there on the side. It's not a very young snake because it does not have a yellow tail that I can see yet. So that indicates they're very young and of course they use that as a caudal lure. All right, young fella, we're gonna leave you now. Enjoy your tree. Well, we have one of the rarest snakes in all of Costa Rica. The Prothidium parasi. Too bad you're not here, Rat and Taylor. You guys want, would love this one, this tiny. Look at that, sitting right out here on a leaf, obviously a baby. Uh, this is the white-tailed hognose viper. And if you look right down in there where that hole is, you can see the white tail. No telling how many times I've walked right past it this whole trip. Uh, I don't know if it's been sitting on a leaf like this, but man, it's so easy to miss because it's about the size of a half dollar or a silver dollar. As long as I've been filming this one tonight, I haven't even seen a tongue flick yet. They've got really amazing eyes. These snakes can be so difficult to find. Uh, and then you see them sitting out on this huge leaf, you know, like this. Just to give you an idea how big the leaf is. I don't wanna, there's my hand right there and that's how big the leaf is and how small the snake is. It is out uh, having a good night. Hopefully a little frog will come along for it. All right, we got a big snake. It's a beast. Probably a six footer. Big fertilized Tercius Halo, both drop Jasper.
How about that? This is the uh, Costa Rican landmine. And you need to make sure you don't step on those. That's the third viper tonight. Uh, really strange. You know, you don't see so many for a long time and then suddenly there's three on the same night. All right, Mr. Fertilance, Bothrops, Asper, Tertia Palo. We will see you later. All right, our last snake of the night. But it's a pretty cool one. It is the brown vine snake. Look at this guy. Pretty big one. There's my hand for scale. Anyway, I don't want to disturb it because it's late. Let me get over here and take a quick look at its head. Beautiful. All right, we got a coral snake. Gosh, it is just so dark. This guy. No bright colors at all. I don't know what kind it is. It's probably not an adult, uh, but I wanted to get some footage of it first before we scared it and uh, found out what it was gonna do because generally they are pretty quick moving snakes once they're startled. But we can't sit here forever like this, can we? Shoot. Disappear now. Still there. there. Man. Sometimes you just never know. Oh, there. there it is. Okay, it's right underneath here somewhere, I think. No. Dang it. Well, I knew that'd be a challenge. Anyway, good to see a coral snake. Wish you knew what kind it was. All right, you see this root right here? It's got uh, some yellow and it's got some coral colors or red. And if you're here during the daytime, a lot of the shadows are quite dark and that gives you the yellow, orange, or red, and black. And those are the colors of a coral snake. So that's gonna do it for this trip from Costa Rica. I wish we'd had a little bit more rain. We probably would have seen some more things, but I'll always take quality over quantity. And I thought that we found some really cool snakes. So thanks for hanging with me and we'll see you soon. Oh, right, 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 right,